We're here on my terrace back home and you can see the wood has to be replaced. It's now 12 years old and after 12 years it just needs new wood. And we decided to do it in wood again even though it would be only half the price to do it in stone. And we did that because I really love wood. It's very nice to walk on wood. It looks much nicer. People that live in wooden houses uh, say it's much more comfortable. And really interesting, wood is even carbon neutral. Did you know when you burn wood, you know, if you do a fire in the woods, it's considered carbon neutral. It's quite amazing because when the trees grow, they absorb all the carbon that gets released in the fire later. And for that reason, it's considered carbon neutral. So there are a lot of points that speak for wood. And I was really surprised to find cheap wood companies in the Obermatt top rank list in the Obermatt rank database. I actually filtered for raw material companies because we wanted to buy gold and metal companies in order to have a recession hatch. And then suddenly these wood companies pop out. And I also found an article on Motley Fool, a stock blog, that said you should buy wood companies as a recession hatch. So now where a lot of people are worried about the recession, these companies should actually be cheap. It doesn't make sense that uh, they should be expensive. It doesn't make sense that they're cheap. So I digged deeper. I looked for reasons why these companies are cheap. One reason is American import duties. The USA decided to tax Canadian wood because they want to protect their market. Now that's a problem for a Canadian company because if there are taxes on their wood that means they're more expensive and less people are inclined to buy it. And in addition they may have to lower their prices and they will cut into their profit margins. Also, I found that there are really strong environmental laws in Canada, which means they can, they can cut less wood than they could before, which I think is a good thing, but it also means that their revenues may decline. And in addition to all that, West Fraser, one of the wood companies said in a press release that they had really severe weather conditions last year. And because of the bad weather, they could ship less wood and they could also cut less wood. So these are reasons that make the stock cheap right now. But there are also good things about difficult times. The Canadian firms decided to expand internationally. They now sell wood to Asia and they're buying overseas wood operations. So that's future markets that are attractive for investors. And the other two things, the import duties to the US and the weather are temporary, or at least could be temporary. The weather definitely is going to be different this year than last year. For these reasons, I looked even closer. I wanted to know the numbers behind the Obermatt ranks, and I went to Reuters to look at the price earning ratio. <laughs> and the price earning ratio of Wes Fraser is fantastic. It is just nine. That means you pay only nine times the profit. That's really good. On top of that, they even pay a dividend. And according to the Obermott rank, the dividend rank at Obermott, it's an average dividend. It's market typical. So you get a recession-proof stock and even a dividend. That's really good. And it's also better than Canfor. Canfor has a price earning ratio of 14 and no dividends. So for me, the decision is easy. I buy West Fraser. This is my decision. I wish you a lot of success with your decision. Thank you.